hello. How are you? All right. Listen, I've been looking forward to this all day. I've just finished work. I think I'm going to start with a nice double scotch. Oh, but Jesus, the pub shuts at three o'clock. We don't open again till six. Oh, is that right? That's right. Oh, dear. Do you mind if I wait? Not at all. Pull up a seat. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like a drink while you're waiting? <laughs> I've decided to award your wife the sum of £25 a week. That's very kind of you, Worship. And I'll try and send her a few bob myself. <laughs> hey, Wilf. Wilf, did you say you wanted to get up at 7 o'clock or 8 o'clock? 9 o'clock. <laughs> what time is it now? Quarter to eleven. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you! How you know my name? <laughs> oh, that's just, just a lucky guess. Ah. I'd like dinner for two. Uh, you're too late for dinner for two. It's 2.30 already. <laughs> no, no, see, what you mean is I want a dinner for two people. Ah, two people. But you're only one people. Where are other people? Ah, well, you see, I'm one people and my friends one too. Ah. Ah, oh, my friend also is one too. One too. Hello, hello. You know this man? No. He say no, you. No, oh, see, you, you must understand me, Jimmy. You see, what do you mean? See, 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 see. I want a dinner, and my friend wants one too. Your friend want to meet one too. One too. <laughs> no, he says friend want to meet you. Oh, oh see, you yeah, must understand me. Oh, shit. 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 Can I have a starter? Oh, certainly. Ready, steady, go! Oh. <laughs> That's not what I mean. No? Have you been sprout soup? No, me never been sprout soup. <laughs> Can you give me a chop? Certainly. <laughs> 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 hurry, 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 calm down. Hurry, so? calm down. Okay, hurry. okay. Calm down. Okay, calm, 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 calm down. Come in. Come in. Come in. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Can you do me an omelette? Certainly. To be or not to be, that is a question. <laughs> it is noble in the mind ah, to somebody sleep. That's no omelette, that's no omelette. No, I'm not going to say, to be or not to be, that's the question whether it's noble in the mind. I can't believe she's not the place in the room and you don't have to lose up and tell her in the bones. Oh, that's boy, you're a close to me, that's all right. Ah, so? No, don't be rude. Sorry. <laughs> I just want some food. Uh, no, me can't sell you any food. Oh, what's the matter? Don't you hear the look of me? Uh, you all look the same to me. <laughs> That's a strange attitude for a Chinese restaurant. This is not a Chinese restaurant. This is a Chinese laundry, you idiot. <laughs> oh, stuff in the cup and I'm a druze. Oh, 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 I ain't my spot on the wash it. You made me feel the light one, too. Oh, I don't know. Oh, why is it now? Oh, again, it's a one Get goal. starched. <laughs> It's a good horse. Right? Good horse. The yeah. owner's got a ton on it, yep. I've got a pony on it, yep. and the trainer's got a monkey on it. Where am I going to sit? <laughs> Shiner. Jim, Jim, good to see you. Hello, Harry. Hello, Audrey. <laughs> Keeping well, are you? Well, no, actually. I'm in hospital. Of course you are, Sam. Of course you are. How nice of you to come. Oh, not at all, Jim. We thought we'd come and cheer you up. What with you being cooped up in here all day. Right. I expect it's nice to get away from the annoying things in life. Yeah, yeah, it would be. Hey? <laughs> Nothing. Uh, we brought you a present. Oh, how nice. A box of truffles. But I'm not allowed to eat sweets. We know. <laughs> we ate them all the way. <laughs> Lovely. Hello, hello, hello. These your apples, are it? Yeah. You know what they say? An apple a day keeps the doctor away. We are old. Hey, hang on. What are you doing? Keeping the doctor away. <laughs> Got any crisps? No. These your letters, Jim? Yeah, I haven't had time to read them all yet. I'll help you, son. Hang on. Dear Jim, I've had enough. You're a lousy lover. I'm leaving you forever. Yours, Kathy. What? That's what it says. He doesn't. No, it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the look on your face! <laughs> <laughs> face. Yeah, I like a laugh. <laughs> it's the best medicine, Jim. Oh, dear. That's about it, Lord. Read that. Oh, no. That's terrible. Terrible? Oh, what? What does it say? I don't know, but it's the worst writing I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> Awful writing. 
terrible. Is that all? Well, it says here that you've got toenail disease. Toenail? Are you sure? Hang That's on. not what they told me. Hang on, sir. Hang on. That could be terminal. <laughs> it's definitely terminal. No, Harry, it's toenail. Look, it says here... <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 right here. Yeah. So, how long have you got? I mean, should you get out? <laughs> Well, the doctor said it'd be out on Thursday. Yeah, feet first, I think, looking at that. What? <laughs> I mean, they'll operate on your feet first, you know, the toenail. So, uh, what are you reading, Jim? Well, I just started a new story in People's Friend. Oh, dear. What? It's a weekly serial. So? Nothing! <laughs> Jim, Jim, come here, son, come here. Look, you're my best friend, right? If anything ever happens to you, not, not, not that I'm saying it's going to, right? right? You know, watch it in here, like, but I mean... You know, if it does, like, can I keep your lawnmower? Hey! <laughs> What's wrong with you both? Nothing's gonna happen. Of course not. No, it's only tonsillitis. What? what? Look, it says there, tonsil disease, not terminal. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> can I keep your lawnmower anyway? No. <laughs> Thanks anyway. For... Audrey, I reckon you and I are entitled to these two final cherries. <laughs> <laughs> well, Harry, Audrey, you've certainly cheered me up. Really? Yep, those are me tonsils. <laughs> and he made the heaven and earth and the planets in just three days. And on the seventh day, he rested. Just a minute. What happened to those missing three days? Well, it took him that long to create you. <laughs> what are you crying for? <laughs> so the boys at school, <laughs> the kids are getting the mickey out of me because I'm no good at cricket. How's that? <laughs> Don't you flip it, Stan! <laughs> so where were you doing last night, Ringo? Last night, I was at the night school, Uncle Sid. No, at school, that's no good to you. Why not? Well, you can't even read in the day. No, 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 no. I don't go to do reading. I go to do woodwork. Ah, that's nice. Yeah. Yeah. What sort of things are you making in woodwork, then? Well, last night, I made my mum a poker for the fire. Ah! <laughs> oh, Geoffrey, I can't take any more of this. Eleanor, any old house is bound to creak and groan a little. You see? Uh, that's just the house settling. Well, I've had enough. I've sent for some expert help. Expert help? Grief, who are you? Ghost justice. Experts in the psychic phenomenon. Well, on Thursdays, we do drains. Hang <laughs> on a minute. How did you get in? Oh, this nice little old lady let us in. But there's nobody here but us. What did she look like? Well, she had a red dress on, right? She had uh, grey hair down to her shoulders, and uh, I'd reckon she was about five foot tall. Right, yeah. She'd have been a lot taller, but she had her head tucked under her arm. <laughs> lady Agatha! How'd you do? <laughs> well, well, lady Agatha was the woman who was murdered here. When was that, then? 1650. Ten to five? <laughs> That's only two hours ago. We better call the police. The year 1650. Since then, there's been a curse upon this house. Oh, stuff and nonsense, Eleanor. Hey, listen, you don't knock the occult, mate. We've seen a lot of those happenings. I tell you, plates flying across the room, doors slamming, and big loud screams. Yeah, but your missus has always been like that, hasn't she? <laughs> Shelves over there. Oh, calm down, calm down. She's hysterical, this one. Down. We'll take a look. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. You know what you've got, don't you? You've got a non-specific, multi-dimensional roving spirit. A poltergeist? Uh, no, thanks. I've just had a wimpy. <laughs> For certain, lady, do we? We should take a look. Look behind the curtains. All right. <laughs> See, there's no sign of anything specific or psychic or spooky anywhere. That was the ghost of Lady Agatha's maid servant who was killed with her. Get away. We'd better have another look. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> it's too 
Oh, hang on! Hey, this looks very nasty, very nasty! Oh, you know what that means, don't you? What? Rising damp? Yeah, yeah, Mr. Sound, I'm yeah, Mr. Sound. <laughs> I like that, yeah, I love it. We can fix that damp. Yeah, give you the first. Ah! Should we give us 10p for a meter? <laughs> I thought you were there. I thought you were him. But quick, man, do something! I think we already have. But don't just stand there! Yeah, it's best to keep moving. Come on, let's go. All right. <laughs> Exercise? I'm not joking with that. I have walked the lonely corridors of this house for over 300 years. Get away. You don't look a day over 180. <laughs> My soul in torment, unable to find peace, suffering the agonies of the damned. It's Esther Hansen. <laughs> you want to get some synergidine down your neck, put the colour back in your cheeks. <laughs> If she was down a drain, we could help you. <laughs> Hang on a minute, Jason. I've got an idea. If we set up a particle field, right, using the cross-beam molecular disruption generator, we should be able to hold an ectoplasmic mass in abeyance long enough to get the RL converter and transporter and send her and her mates across the void. <laughs> Couldn't you just move? <laughs> Oh, just get on with it. All right. right. Oh, that's it. Sorry, can't help you. Why ever not? It's against the law. No spirits after 11 o'clock. Come on. <laughs> Please, yes, I'm, I'm looking for the other side of the road. It's over there. Oh, somebody over there said it was over here. <laughs> Catch this bus. Right. I'll help you aboard. <laughs> oh. I haven't got the fare. <laughs> He says to me, he says, Sergi, you're just not lifting a company. <laughs> he never did. He did, he did. He said, I want to see Ludmilla up over your head. 
I said, look, mate, I'm a dancer, not a forklift truck. <laughs> yes, put on a bit of weight, isn't she? A bit of weight? A bit of weight? Have you seen her thighs? Oh, blimey. Kelly Dixon would be proud to have legs like that. <laughs> How's she ever got this one leg? I'll never know. I reckon that leg would never freeze over if she was on it. Too right, mate, too right. I said to Oscar, I said, you never ask Mickey to lift a big bird like that? Mickey? Mickey Bariskinoff. <laughs> See, me and him were having the best of free frames down at Stan's snooker, all right? He said to me, Ron, leave it out. Give it to Big E straight off. Who's Ron, then? I am. I thought you were Sergi. Do I look like a Sergi? Yeah. They only give you these Russian names, mate, just to make it sound a bit more attractive, like. Oh, yeah, so, uh, Mikhail Beryshnikov... ...is Mickey Noakes from Dunstable. <laughs> Same as your Rudolf Nuryov. He's really Bobby Digweed from Mile End. He's not Bobby Digweed. That's why they don't do interviews. Oh, right, yeah. I mean, how do you think Rudy, I mean Bobby, got on so well with Peggy Uckham? Who's Peggy Uckham? Margot Fontaine. <laughs> is because of their common belief in their artistic integrity. That's cobblers, mate. Yeah. <laughs> they was a school together on the Isle of Dogs. Yeah, but... Straight up. Yeah. It's amazing. Mm. So, uh... <laughs> how'd you, how'd, how'd you, um... <laughs> how'd you get into this game, then? Oh, I was sent down by the job centre, wasn't I? See? Yeah? Yeah. There was one missing in the line at the back of that boutique fantasque. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you stepped in, like, you right, know? Right, yeah. Oscar was directing that and all. Yeah. Oh, right, pain in the neck he was. He kept shouting, didn't he? Jette, jette. How was I supposed to know he meant jump? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Look, if you want me to jump, mate, say so. Hey? <laughs> no good giving all that French mumbo jumbo, you know. Ooh, entre chaise and a plie up your party de deux, like yeah. that. <laughs> a lot of horse sheesh, that, innit? Yeah. So, uh, you're not a real dancer, innit? No, not a real dancer. Only spot prize winning three nights run in the Locarno, mate. Yeah. I'll live for the dance, I do. Talking to wish you ever break. Yeah, good idea. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Cheers. <laughs> Tell you what, it's a bit nippy in here today, isn't it, eh? You all right, Dad Alexi? <laughs> hey, Alexi, I like that. It's a bit nicer than Al, but, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> You're right, there. There's taters in here, mate. Oh, blimey. You haven't got a spare pair of socks, have you? What, your feet cold, are they? Not for me feet, no. I want to shove them down me tights. Yeah. I don't want that Lord Miller laughing at me again. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Are we going to go straight to sleep tonight? Or what? What? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> uh, I'll call you back. Listen, how old would a person be if they were born in 1897? Let me think now. Ooh. Are you talking about a man or a woman? <laughs> the one they call Bilius. Unfortunately, I am. Uh, and you must be devious. Extremely. Are you with us in the plot to assassinate Caesar? Yes. Then it's time for us to act. Why? The sketch has begun. Ah. Make way for his Imperial Highness Julius Caesar, Emperor of Rome, Monica of the Dling, King of the Day, Pick of the Week, Top of the Pops, right, Dish of the Day. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, then no. <laughs> Hey, no, don't go on. This is Brutus. I call him Brute. Cool, imagine splashing that all over. <laughs> go and get some goblets of wine. How many? Get two, Brutie. Hey, Caesar! Hail hey, Caesar! No, 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 hail. Just a few scattered showers in a deep depression coming from the south. Caesar! Here she comes. What time do you call this? Your dinner's been in the charcoal for seven years. Where have you been? I've been conquering Britain, haven't I? And why are you speaking in that funny voice? It's something I picked up over there. Caesar. <laughs> aye, aye, Claudius. Have I got time for a... <laughs> a proclamation? <laughs> oh, uh... <laughs> Place and chips? <laughs> oh, uh... <laughs> Find your lager? Oh, have I got time for a... <laughs> a poem? Yes. Oh, thank God for that. <laughs> Stop that, Gropius! <laughs> Why, Echimus, the population's increased while I've been away. Too many orgies, that's what it is. Tell you, do you know when I left, you couldn't get a Vestal Virgin for love nor money? 
Talking of vestal virgins, who's that? Ah, well, that's my new English slave. Ah, yes, it's a bit of class, that, you know. It's a sort of a slow Ah, yes. Her name's Fergie. Ah, she was feeling... <laughs> I was feeling a bit off one day, so somebody said, take Andrews. So here she is. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hey, yeah, Jules say come over the season, and here I am, OK? What season? The matings. Season. I've got a good cure for your stutter. <laughs> really, season? What is it? Keep your flaming mouth shut. <laughs> Well, you can have this when I'm down to death here. <laughs> Incidentally, there's a new procedure to guard duty, right? When somebody approaches now, right, you shout all, two goes there. If they shout friend, you tell them to pass. If they shout four, you kill them. But take your time, it might be Claudius. <laughs> and what a super joke, Jules, you wag. Yes, I know I do, it's this toga. Uh, <laughs> I'll have to get it taken in a bit, yes. You told me flares were coming back. <laughs> oh, Caesar. <laughs> I'm not going. Spurs <laughs> <laughs> are out. Oh. I see, Caesar. Is, is there your wife and children over there? Ah! Oh, so that's the family, Jules. <laughs> oh, yes, it is an English joke. Well, I'll do the jokes, all right. Caesar. You obviously haven't realised, but while you've been away, there has been mounting discontent among the populace. There is a plot to kill you. Say that again. <laughs> oh, forget it! I know what's going on, I know what's going on. My soothsayer told me. What did she say? Sooth! <laughs> devious, devious! The time is right. Take this knife. We strike when Claudius introduces Caesar. I'm ready to go on now. Yes. Do me warm up. Yes. Give us a good one. Yes, Caesar. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the show. Have we any parties in? We're expecting one from Britannicus Rail, but they've been held up at... Get on with it! Peterborough. Anyway, <laughs> let's have a great big Roman welcome for your conqueror and mine. It's the way he kills them. Julius... Caesar! <laughs> Thank you! Romans and countrymen, and those who've had the operation, lend me your ears. And any other bits you've got going. Ah. <laughs> Claudius, knock us, knock us. Who's the... <laughs> oh, forget it, forget it. <laughs> Stick us five pounds each way on Goliath. There you go. <laughs> now then, welcome to the meeting. Any questions? What did you find in ancient Greece? Ancient chips. <laughs> what about the Empire? The Empire? You mean the one next to the Odeon? It's going over to Bingo. <laughs> I'm going to call the numbers out in Latin so the Greeks can't win. Ah. What about Vegas Khan? No, he can't. He's been cut off at the front. Oh. <laughs> now, listen, listen, listen. It's time to close the meeting now, right? Always remember, when in Rome, do as the Romans do. When in bed, please yourself. <laughs> now, if you're driving, don't forget them chariots. There's a man knocked down every five minutes. And he's getting pretty sick of it. <laughs> and we're going to close with a well-known song, Keep the Rome Fires Burning. But instead, is a modern one by that group, the US. Claudius? Yes. Will you help me sing this song? Yes. Caesar. Here we go. People try to put us down. I'm talking about my ch 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 <laughs> <laughs> In a British rail buffet In the Chinese takeaway Is where we mean to blow our mind Soggy buns and greasy chips Soya sauce and mustard dips It's amazing what you find In the gravy There's a song In the gravy We don't care just what we dump In the gravy There's a whole new world of junk In the gravy Jumbo burgers, chicken legs, blackened toast and runny eggs, coffee tasting of the dregs, it's a flavour that still clings. Cut that's bad and hard to death, biryani on your breath, you can find the strangest things. In the gravy, there's a little bit of green. In the gravy, and it's not a kidney bean. In the gravy. It's 
hardly dining at the Ritz. We admit that it's the pits as our chins explode in zits. But we really feel alive as we slush the ketchup on and the flavors come along. Oh, Jacques Cousteau ought to die. In the gravy, there's a rather nasty blob. In the gravy, it's amazing what they love. In the gravy, oh, it's great to be a slob. In the gravy. As a friendly cockroach crawls on a plate of lobster balls, it's no wonder nature calls, so we all skip to the loo. But in a world of pan grease, we can stuff ourselves in peace. All our dreams will soon come true. In the gravy, there's a rather nasty blob. In the gravy, it's amazing what they love. In the gravy, oh, it's great to be a slob. In the gravy, 